Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Ops Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 137. Download portal data using the Power Platform CLI. In our last tip, I covered the Power Apps Portal specific commands available as part of the Microsoft Power Platform CLI. In this tip, I'm going to go a bit deeper into the download command. The download command accepts three parameters. The path is required and defines where on the local file system the files will be downloaded to. The website ID is also required and specifies which website in the connected Dataverse environment will be downloaded. The overwrite parameter is optional and lets you specify if the command should fail if the path folder already has website data. The download command downloads only data from specific tables in Dataverse, including web pages, web templates, forms, lists, and permissions. You can refer to the Microsoft documentation for the complete list. Currently, the tool does not allow you to add any additional tables to the list of those exported. Once you run the command, you'll see the folder structure that it creates. Folders are created for certain tables, like forms, lists, and content snippets, while single files are created for tables like websites, site settings, and site markers. The Dataverse data is generally represented in YAML files. However, there are a few exceptions. For example, the notes associated with web files are exported as separate files. Within web pages and web templates, copy and source attributes where you'd often define large sections of HTML, are exported as separate files as well. The same goes for custom JavaScript, like those that appear on basic forms. In the next tip, I'll cover how you can use the upload command to make changes to your portal data, or to move your portal data to another Dataverse environment. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 137 on download portal data using the Power Platform CLI useful.